Good evening, everyone. My name is Steve Aviano, and we're going to do a little hunting. This is the Hunter Call of the Wild, which my son Jeff got me. He bought it for me and told me I would uh, become addicted to it. Well, I have become addicted to it. It's a great game. So let's uh, get going here. As you can see, it's nighttime. And actually, it is 1.10 in the morning. And uh, let's put the GPS Palm Pilot thingy over there away. And, uh, well, the wind's from the north, so we're going to be hunting to the north, which I'm not real thrilled about. Uh, mainly because, if we look here, I've only got $8,371. And what I'm doing is saving up to purchase a moose collar and an elk collar because I have the 7mm rifle, which is uh, supposed to be really good for moose and elk. And uh, the ammunition is very expensive, so I need... I think it's either $12,000 or $14,000 to buy uh, enough ammo. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'll be hunting with the 270. There she is. Um, and I'm going to be hunting this area for black-tailed deer and white-tailed deer. Um, so I'll be hunting to the north, and as we get further north, seems like in the game we run out of black tail and white tail, and we start hitting moose, <coughs> excuse me, and elk, uh, which I've killed a few, but I'm not ready to hunt those exclusively until I get uh, oh, a lot of ammo and uh, moose collar and an elk collar. So let's get headed out to the north, see if we can find some uh, black tail and some white tail, hopefully. Uh, I apologize for the hiss in the background. Uh, this condenser microphone is, uh, it's only about a foot and a half, maybe two feet away from the computer. And so the background noise are the fans running in my computer. Ah, boy, I tell ya. I have been playing games with uh, PreSonus, their drivers, and voice meter, and uh, it's really, and Windows 10, which, man, they gotta fix their sound system. Uh, between the Windows, what was that? That was a moose. No, thank you. I want... Let's see what direction we're headed here. If there's a lake nearby. I think there is. Uh, zoom out. There's a lake over there. So, if I cut west, then I can turn and head up north. All these purple areas are where I've been hunting and killed things. Uh, but, you know what? Oops. Um, this lake up here. I think I'm going to head to it and hunt around this lake. See what we can do. So let's head there. I'm headed right for it. And, uh, I guess I should turn my headlight on so uh, I can see tracks. Let's do that. Okay, now I can see tracks. Oh, look at this. Freaking moose. Look at that. Okay, maybe if I go with my 7mm. See, that's a... Oh, there. 
Oh, it's a male, I think. Yep. No, it's a, it's a female. Oh, okay, I hear you, sweetie. I want to kill you. She's moving, she's not eating. Well, now, oop. They will run you over and hurt you. And I don't want to take a chance. This is a powerful rifle. Maybe a headshot? We'll try it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there she goes. That's okay. Go back to the 270. Head north. Look for some black tail and white tail. Oh, let's get up and walk. I don't have to creep around. Uh, uh, that little blinking light in front of me, those are footprints. So if I move my light off of them, they disappear. So at nighttime, you have to have your headlight on <coughs> to uh, see the tracks out here. We'll head over to the woods in here. Uh, black tail, they bring a little more money than the white tail do. Two to three hundred bucks more. And they really like the the timbered areas, whereas the white tail they'll move out. Uh, yeah, I know, you got away from me. They'll move out into the open areas, but I'd really like to uh, get black tail this time. I need to keep a track of the time. I only want to do about it. Half hour gives you guys an idea of what the game is like and hopefully kill something for you. There's other critters out here. There's fox, there's coyote, there's rabbits. Um, I don't hunt them at all. Not worth the time. I want the money. Because I want I have a tent set up that I can go to up north. Uh, and I want to hunt moose and elk. No, well, that was her again. Shut up over there. But yeah, the game. The game is really enjoyable. Years ago, I played the hunter, and it was like, I tried it. And uh, I guess these are the same people. And it wasn't very much fun. Didn't enjoy it. Now we're going to make some noise coming through here. Uh, it's debatable. A lot of people debate on this. I like to walk, make noise, until I get a warning call from an animal. Then I'll crouch down and uh, try to call it in. And uh, kill it. But yeah, the game's really nice. There's some moose tracks. Looks like that's all we're hitting for now. Once I get up in the woods, uh, how close are we to the lake? Yeah, we got a ways to go. Once I get into the woods, I'll try uh, calling in some deer, white tail or black tail. And see if we can't do something that way. But, hold on. <laughs> She's still over there. <laughs> yeah, well, one of these days, sweetie, one of these days coming up. That's probably some uh, moose poop. Be willing to bet. And that is moose droppings. Old. Uh, Who's Prince? To play this game requires quite a bit of patience, 
especially when you're calling deer in with a deer call, uh, a bleat, you really have to, I think I'll go over here, I want to get in the woods. And crouch, crouch down and uh, try calling some animals. These are probably moose prints up here. Oh, it's Friday night. I haven't had any scotch. So if I have a successful hunt, I got me a bottle of single malt over there. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's head over. Ah. Now this is going to drop off here. Not all that great. Oh, crap. There's, it looks like that's the lake down there. Yep, that's the lake. I guess I'll head down the hill. Sorry guys, I, uh, I'm doing a lot of walking here. There is an ATV you can use in here. I don't like it. Uh, well, let's see what kind of prints we got over here. Those look like moose. No, it's a fucking bear. Damn things are all over. Whoa, where was that? Oh. That sounded like either an elk or a uh, deer. Crouch down. Let's get our bleat collar out. Sound like it came from in front of me. And when a uh, deer or elk comes in range, you'll hear uh, you'll hear him walking, and uh, it's uh, differential in your. Oh, there she is! Oh shit! Cool. What do I want? I want my 270. Come on, sweetie, a little closer. <laughs> no, she didn't drop immediately, did she? Oh, yeah, I think she did. Yeah, I dropped her first shot. Cool. That's money. <laughs> Poor little thing. But, sweetie, I need the money. That yeah, was a white tail. $563. Uh, your black tail of female devil will bring you around $800. So there's, there's quite a difference there. Got her in the lungs. I go for the lungs and heart. Uh, my son Jeff. He likes to go for this, uh, the neck spine, this area through here. Uh, me, that was a little high. The heart's right down in, well, no. Yeah, the heart's right in that area, so it's a low shot. Anyway, let's grab that money and continue north. Well, that was a good sign, although it's a white tail. Now, it's a shame it's uh, nighttime. Uh, the scenery is really nice in the day. Now, let's go down here in these trees over here. I've got the wind to my face, uh, that lower right-hand corner. The green cone shows my scent trailing out behind me. Let's see what these uh, prints are over here. Uh, it'd be nice if they were blacktail. We 
healthy. And I doubt it. Nope, it's moose. So well, we'll go up here and uh, this is pretty steep here. I think I want to uh, drop down a little lower. What do we got here? Bear, of course. Seven millimeter will take down a bear. Ooh. Oh, that's a Roosevelt elk. I've only got a couple of those. Oh, I don't want to run. Oh, jeez. My rocks here. Wow, it's really rocky around here. Let's see. We can't just sit here. And we're going to try calling something, man. I heard something, but no, no hooves. Man, I wish it wasn't so rocky around here. They're up in here. And it's uh, really important in this game to keep track of where your scent trail is. <laughs> You can call and call and call, and if they smell you, they ain't coming. Those are fresh tracks up there. Uh, if the tracks are white, they're they're not recent. They're old. If they're blue. They are recent tracks, so let's see what those are. Ooh, this looks like a good area to hunt. And uh, that's a Roosevelt. Let's see up in this area if we can't call something in. Just go over here by these trees. Crouch down and let's do some calling. Here's where the patient uh, can pay off. Good. Not seeing any clouds up there, so uh, it won't be raining. It does rain an awful lot in this game. Listening, I'm listening for the sound of hooves. <coughs> Looks like fresh poop over there. That's a watering hole, a watering area where 
it's known that animals uh, come down in water. You gotta find those. There's a lot of things in this game you either gotta buy. Like there's deer blinds. I think they're $2,100. You set them up one time, then you can use them. Um, I haven't had a lot of luck using blinds. I think I killed one buck. Uh, it was a black tail buck. If y'all don't mind, uh, I'd appreciate it if you leave me, uh, oh, some remarks in the commentary uh, about the sound levels. I know the hiss in the background or that background noise sucks. I got to find a way to deal with that, uh, just because of the near proximity of my computer. But uh, leave me a remark on, uh, you know, is it too loud? Uh, are you not hearing? the game well enough. Voice too long. Oh, that was a rabbit. You little prick. Fuck you. Okay, let's move up. Not being productive for you guys right now. See, I'm not ready for Roosevelt either. Because they're, they're hard to catch on the fly. If you don't have an elk call. Come on. Give me a black tail. I need the money. Where am I at money wise? Eight thousand, almost nine thousand dollars. I still need, I need to get around 15, 16 grand so I can purchase the calls and the ammo. Uh, let's see, right now for my 7 millimeter uh, in the lower right hand corner, oh, I need to reload. Uh, I have 33 rounds, so let's reload this guy. Oh, that's right, it's a single shot. Duh! What am I doing on here? Uh, I can reload this guy. He carried four rounds. And I got 32 rounds for the uh, 270. Uh. Well, I think we've been playing this for about 20 minutes. Come on, give me something. Ooh, nice clear shot in this area. They will come up behind you. They can hurt you, a black tail or a white tail. Uh, lower right hand corner shows your health. Um, I have been hunting in bushes to stay hidden. And uh, I could hear a buck real close to me, but I couldn't see him, couldn't see him. And all of a sudden he just comes flying through the bushes and nails my ass. He didn't kill me, but he took some of my health away. hearing a damn thing. I hope all you who nope. I was hubs. Uh, I hope you guys can hear all the critters in here. They can make a hell of a racket. I 
I uh, just renewed my subscription to uh, iRacing, so hopefully I'll be doing some iRacing recordings. I uh, took a break from it for a while, actually for about a year. So I've been practicing. Pretty sure uh, Jeff is planning on uh, doing some I racing this year too. We'll sneak over here and see what these uh, prints are over here. Just keep calling. This area I think is starting to get hunted out, which is why I want to go up north and hunt for moose and elk and give this area down south where the blacktail and whitetail are. Give it a rest. The deer are getting sparse. That's probably going to be a Roosevelt. looking like it. Yeah, it's a Roosevelt. Yep, uh, female. I don't think there's anything in this area, guys. I guess I should say guys and gals, there's female hunters out there. I've never hunted with one in real life. Okay. This is kind of... Uh, Okay, now I'm going to try my other tactic, and that's walking until I can hear uh, a warning call. This is probably Roosevelt poop. Nope, moose poop. Lake's over there. Yeah. Uh, Moose. Well, let's just go investigate. I'm going to want my 7 millimeter. Then I'm going to crouch down, see if I can't sneak up on it. Those are warning calls. Those are probably its fresh tracks down there to the left. comes the rain.
the rain will cover your uh, the noise you make. No, I don't want to go that way. I'll go down here. Where are you, Moosey Moosey? You're up here somewhere. It's uh, much easier to sneak up on a moose than it is an elk, believe me. Show and take a look. Not seeing it. Haven't heard a warning call in a while. Tried hunting moose with the 270 with no success. I swear I've shot them right in the head. And you run over there, they bleed a little bit. It says you got a flesh wound. And the fuckers won't bleed out. Oh, I thought that rock was a moose. Uh, looks like it's going to keep raining. Uh, I guess this is a uh, good place to call it quits. Uh, we can always uh, fast track back to the cabin. Da da. Collect it to say fast travel. That was thunder. <laughs> uh, sometimes it'll scare the crap out of you. Wow. Okay, well, I know for some people this is like watching paint dry, and for others they really like uh, watching. Maybe it'll interest them in uh, purchasing the game, I think it's like 29 bucks maybe. Uh, it's a good buy, uh, it's pretty immersive, um, 
There's a lot to do in it, a lot to discover, a lot to purchase. You start off with a, uh, ooh, more thunder. You start off with a 243 rifle, uh, and it has a cheap scope on it. And, it's, you know, it's good to get you started. Uh, and then you can move up, uh, let's see. I can show you some of the rifles. We don't need to crouch down no more. We can go to the store, rifles. Uh, the Ranger 243 is what you start off with. <coughs> you can purchase this, it's good for small animals, the uh, 223. Uh, so you start here with the scope on the rifle. Uh, I moved up to the 270 because uh, it, it's much easier with the 270 to bring down black tail and white tail deer uh, on the first shot. This, you got to have a really good shot. And when you first start out, your aiming is not all that steady. You have to earn, I believe it's skill points to increase, uh, you know, your, uh, how, uh, well you hold the rifle. So the 270, <coughs> then what I did is move up to the Whitlock, which is basically a Winchester 3030, uh, $24,000. Uh, I went with this for because I do a lot of hunting in the brush. Uh, Winchester 3030 was it's a it's a heavy round. It's got a lot of power, and uh, it won't be deflected through the brush so easily as the 270. And then I saved up enough money to buy the uh, seven millimeter that was 36,000. I doubt if I'll go with the uh, Range Master 338. That's 60 grand. Nah, I'll be happy with this and this to hunt deer, elk, bear, and moose. So anyway, that's a little bit about the game. Uh, and of course, it gives you all the statistics on it. Yada, yada, yada. So, let's get out of here. Let's get out of the rain. There we go. And we can just, uh, too bad we ain't got a uh, barbecue pit. We got a bucket. Oh boy. And a rain quit. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments. Let me know, uh, especially uh, about the sound level. Okay? It's Friday night. Have a good Friday evening. I'm going to go have me some. Scotch. Good night, guys.